Hello everyone, welcome to AI Product Builders. Today we'll be building a Q&A application using Advanced Rack. This one teaches you how you can improve your rack performance by using re-ranking method. Now re-ranking in rank is used to evaluate the relevance of the context and prioritize the ones that are most likely to provide accurate and relevant answers. So I'll also explain in detail why do we use re-ranking in the next few minutes. So by end of this video, you will have a fully functional Q&A app that can answer questions on any topic you feed it with more accuracy. In this tutorial, we'll be using Cohere's re-ranker model. So here's a quick overview of the application. In the beginning, we fetch a Wikipedia article related to the topic and split the article into text chunks. And then using the Cohes embedding model, we convert the text chunk and the user query into high dimensional vectors, enabling us to measure the similarity. And this is where the embedding is done. And we do the retrieval. So the retrieval is done by the cosine similarity between the query vectors and the chunk vectors. We retrieve the most relevant chunks from a simple vector database. And then we do the re-ranking and this is where the magic happens. The initially retrieved chunks are then re-ranked using Cohere's re-rank model, which further boosts the relevance of the top chunks to the specific query. And then in the end, we do the response generation using Cohere's LLM. Uh, so here's how the response is generated. The words are generated into chunks and those chunks are then converted into embeddings. Once you have the embeddings, we perform the retrieval. Using the re-rank model, the application comes up with top three chunks and then the final answer using the Cohere command model. So let's quickly also understand what does a re-ranking in RAG mean. In a naive RAG approach, a, a large number of contexts may be retrieved, but not all of them are necessary all the time or relevant all the time. What re-ranking allows you to do is reorder and filter the documents, placing the relevant ones at the forefront, at the top. You know, it could pull out top three, top 10 based on your requirement, thereby enhancing the effectiveness of RAG. So as you see in the figure, the task of re-ranking is like an intelligent filter. When the retriever retrieves multiple contexts from the index collection, these contexts may have different relevance of the user's query. Some contexts may be relevant. So, so the highlighted in red ones are mostly relevant, while uh, others may be slightly related or even unrelated, so highlighted in the green and blue boxes. So the task of re-ranking is to evaluate the relevance of these contexts and prioritize the ones that are most likely to provide accurate and relevant answers. In simple terms, re-ranking is helping you choose the most relevant references. So with a basic RAG application, there might be a high chance that you won't be able to fetch the most relevant answers, uh, but with advanced RAG, you know, using re-ranking models, you would be able to fetch more relevant answers. That's basically what re-ranking means. Now, before jumping into the code, I would like also quickly like to show what models today I'll be using. I'll be using all co Cohere's three models, that is command, the embedding models, and the re-rank models. Command is the Cohere's default text generation model that takes a user instruction and um, generates the text following the instructions. So there are many command models which you can use. So I'd be using the embedding model from Cohere as well to convert uh, the text into embeddings. So I'll be using one of these embedding models and I'll be using the Cohere's re-rank model. The re-rank model can improve created models by reorganizing the real based on certain parameters. So I'll be using one of the re-rank models. So before jumping into writing the code, I'll also show how you can get your API key from Cohere. Once you create an account with Cohere, just head over to Cohere's development platform Platform. Once you are on the dashboard, you will see a page called API keys where you can create your own secret key. I have provided some trial keys. So if you are uh, building a production grade application, then you get your production key over here. So, and once you have a trial key, just copy paste. That's it. That's how you can get your API key. So we'll start by installing all the necessary libraries. Just say pip install. We'll be using Cohere for our AI models, Wikipedia for our RAG application. And Langchain will be using text splitter module in order to split our text into relevant chunks. Once you install all the libraries, export your API key. Export Cohere API key. So just place your API key over here. Make sure it's secure and safe. So we'll start by creating an API client for a Cohere model using the API key stored in the environment variable Cohere API key in the below. And then the first step is to fetch the Wikipedia article. So this part of the code basically fetches the Wikipedia article on machine learning. This is the one. 
this is the wikipedia article i'm fetching for my rag application today and then we store the content of the article in a variable called text um, and we are printing the number of words in the text that's basically this part of the code and, and the second step is basically where we do the indexing and splitting the text into relevant chunks so using recursive character splitter object we are, we are splitting the text into chunks of 512 characters and overlap of 50 characters and we are using the create document method to create a list of document objects which are nothing but chunks and finally we are printing the number of chunks generated so once the chunks are created we have to compute em um, embeddings for each of the chunks so i'm using embed english version 3 from kohe to get the embedding so basically this section compute embedding for each chunk using kohe's embed model so the input type is search document because the text being embedded are the chunks we want to search over and the embeddings are finally stored in the embeddings list and the number of embeddings is computed and printed out and then we have to store these embeddings in a vector database now you could also use third party vector databases but i created a very simple vector database using a python dictionary where the keys are the indices of the chunks and the values are numpy arrays of corresponding embedding so i've imported numpy as well over here so i've created a vector database using a numpy array and this is where we'll start the query my query is like give me a list of machine learning models mentioned in the page also give a brief description of each model and that's my query that's it once you have query you have to also convert the user query into embeddings right to find the similarity and that's that's what we are doing using the cohes embed model again we are passing in the search query as the input type and we are storing the embeddings in a list form in a query embeddings and then we create number of embeddings created for the query so we'll be using cosine similarity over here to find the similarity between the query embedding and the chunk embeddings right so the cosine similarity is a function basically defined to calculate the cosine similarity between two vectors the cosine similarity between the query embedding and each chunk embedding is calculated and stored in a cosine similarity variable over here as you see and then we print out what is the cosine what are the similarities and then the indices of the chunks are then stored in a descending order as you see here the order is descending based on the similarity score and we store the top 10 indices in a variable called top indices and the corresponding chunks of these top 10 indices are retrieved from the chunk list and stored in top chunks after retrieval the indices and the top chunks are printed and this is where the magic happens so we re-rank the top 10 chunks retrieved from the vector database, re-ranking boost retrieval accuracy, re-ranking lets us go from 10 chunks retrieved from the vector database to the most to the three most relevant chunks. So here you can mention if you want to fetch top four, top five, top six, and we are printing out the top chunks after re-rank. So what we are doing over here is basically based on the cosine similarity, we are fetching out top 10 chunks. And using a re-rank model, we are fetching our top three chunks. That's basically a re-rank model is doing. And the last step is to generate the final response. And we'll be using Cohere's uh, command model over here. So we are creating a preamble. A preamble is nothing but with instructions about the task and the desired style of the output. So I've created a task and context. I basically say the model that you help people answer their questions and other re requests interactively. You'll be asked a very wider request. And the style girl. unless the user asks for a different style of an answer you should answer in full sentence writing proper grammar and spelling from the command model we are using code.chat method to display the final response the code.chat method is called with the query the formatted documents the preamble um, and the model command r and the temperature setting of 0 0.3 you can set the temperature however you want your model to respond and finally generating the final answer to the query using the rerun chunks and cohesion model that's basically it that's the entire application let's quickly run the application and then see how the response so once you click on run you see the response over here the so the entire wikipedia has around 8274 words and that is what we are printing out here the text has been broken down into 176 chunks and then we just computed 170 embeddings you see all of the text in vector representation over here once we create the embeddings then here are the indices of the top 10 chunks after retrieval 
once you have top 10 chunks here you see the top three chunks after re-rank so you, now you know how re-rank model in action works by combined techniques like embeddings retrieval re-ranking and generation we can create incredibly powerful and intelligent systems that truly understand and communicate like humans so the next time so the next time you ask a q and a application a question and receive a mind-blowing good response um you can thank the re-rank model for its behind the scenes role in making this possible so if you enjoyed this tutorial please consider giving a like share and subscribe and i will see you in the next tutorial thank you